Sean, back to Trump Tower now in New York City, where we expect to see the eldest son, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here he is. As well. It is very clear that the system is not working at its maximum. And through an op-ed that you may have seen, we provided at least a solution to begin to address a broken voting system. Uh, that was the dialogue, most of the dialogue that we talked about constructively. We believe we provided a solution that at least will give everyone an idea. Mr. King, as you know, Representative Lewis has, still has the scars from the march on Selma. Were you offended by the President-elect's tweet that Representative Lewis is all talk and no action? Well, first of all, I think that in the heat of emotion, a lot of things get said on both sides. And uh, I think that um, at some point, you know, I, I am, as John Lewis and many others are, a bridge builder. The goal is to bring America together and Americans. We, we are a great nation, but we must become a greater nation. And what my father represented, my mother represented through her life, what I hope that I'm trying to do is always bring people together. Sir, do you know many African Americans? Sir, President. many Sir. African Americans are very concerned about a Trump presidency. A woman came in here last week and told me he's going to have black people up against the wall, both literally and figuratively. Did he allay your concerns that he'll be a president for all people, black and white? Well, certainly he said that, that he is going to represent Americans. He said that over and over again, uh, and I think that we will continue to evaluate that. I think that the nation supports, I believe that that's his intent. Uh, but I think also we have to consistently engage with pressure, public pressure. It doesn't happen automatically. My father and his team understood that, did that, uh, and, and I think that Americans are prepared to do that. Yes, sir, if I may follow up, isn't there something that just cuts to your core when you hear the president-elect refer to John Lewis as all talk and no action? I mean, nothing could be further from the truth, isn't that right? John Lewis is not all talk and no action. No, a absolutely, I would say John Lewis has demonstrated that he's action. As I said, things get said on both sides in the heat of emotion. And uh, at some point, this nation, we, we've got to move forward. We can't stay on. I mean, people are literally probably dying. We need to be talking about how do we feed people? How do we clothe people? How do we create the best education system? That's what we need to be focused on. On this day, what would your father's message be to President-elect Trump? What do you think your father's message would be to President-elect Trump? This is the final answer I'm going to have, because I'm going to reiterate what I just said. I think my father would be very concerned about the fact that there are 50 or 60 million people living in poverty, and somehow we've got to create the climate for all boats to be lifted. In America, with a multi-trillion dollar economy, $20 trillion almost, it's, it's insanity that we have poor people in this nation. That's unacceptable. And when we work together, we know we can roll up our sleeves. There's nothing that we as Americans can't do. Thank you very much. The eldest son, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., shedding a little light on the meeting that he had with President-elect Donald Trump today. Uh, uh, saying that he spoke to the president-elect about a broken, uh, broken voting system, talking a little bit about uh, what can be done to get the system to work at its maximum, but also weighing in on the, the debate that's really been inflamed over the last 24 hours between Congressman John Lewis and President-elect Trump, saying at this time uh, that there's a lot of heat and emotions on both sides, but it's important to be a bridge builder. We'll leave you with those words and come back with some more breaking news from Trump Tower in just a moment.